Today we're going to be talking about uh, the organization of the elements and kind of how they were put together in what was called the first periodic table. Um, Dmitry Mendeleev was the, the chemist or the, the scientist who is credited with coming up with this first periodic table. We see a picture of it down here. This is kind of a, a version of his periodic table. Um, what he decided to do was to arrange the elements by what's called their relative atomic mass, um, as well as building upon theories about this uh, periodic nature of the properties of elements. So there's a lot of known elements at the time, uh, and they all behaved in a certain way. They reacted with each other. Um, and scientists have come up with the fact that there's this periodic nature that those characteristics repeat over and over and over again. And so he kind of put his table together using both of those pieces. Um, the first thing that he used, like we said, was an arrangement using the atomic mass. So the atomic mass is just the mass of a single particle of an element. So if we had like H2O, uh, the atomic mass of oxygen would be how the mass of one oxygen particle. Uh, so that's kind of what we're talking about here. Uh, so what he did was he took all of these different elements that they knew and he arranged them in order of increasing atomic masses. So we see 1, we see 4, 11, 12, 14, so it's growing. Uh, and the, the second thing that he did to arrange them was by reactivity. So instead of when he arranged by atomic mass, just having one giant list that goes all the way side by side, he said, okay, there's this periodic nature where elements react in similar ways, so every time I come across an element that has uh, reactivity similar to another one, I'll just start a new row and put it underneath the element that has that same property. So reactivity, just like we were talking about earlier, is the ability of the element to react with another element. Anytime there's a chemical reaction, that's showing how the element can, or the reactivity of the element. And so, like we were saying a second ago, he arranged by atomic mass and reactivity. So, growing atomic numbers or growing atomic mass from side to side, and then anytime he saw reactivity that was already shown before, he'd start a new column and then repeat the process. And then start a new column and repeat the process. And this is how he came up with this table that we see down here. Um, what was really awesome about Mendeleev's table is that he was able to use it to predict the existence of elements that didn't exist yet, or th that no scientist had ever discovered. And so, if you look really closely, you'll see spots where there's just nothing. Now, just a blank space and a number. Blank space and a number. So that means there was nothing that scientists had known with that atomic mass yet, but Mendeleev was so competent in this organization that he said, you know what, we're going to leave a blank space. I promise you there's going to be an element. And what's really crazy is that he was totally right. Um, the modern periodic table that we'll kind of discuss as we move forward, all of those holes have been filled by elements that were discovered after Mendeleev created his table.